everyone, thank you for watching and I hope you're all doing well. It's that time of month again and I'm in for my second round of monthly favourites. I'll go for beauty first and with one of the most random products I'm going to have for this summer and it's hand cream. I've got the hand food by Soap and Glory. It's a hydrating hand cream with shea butter, macadamia oil and marshmallow. Ooh. I've been loving this just yeah purely because my hands have been really dry and I don't know why and I've hurt and I don't know it. <laughs> um, my hands have got, I wouldn't say 100% better, but they have got incredibly better, like smoother, kind of soft as well. So I started off with this one. This is like the mini travel one that you can carry around in your handbag. And then because I love this one so much, I also got like the one to kind of keep next to my sink. And I use this just after every time I've kind of washed my hands. The marshmallow in them just smells so good. Like it's, Oh, let me have a little... Ooh, that does smell good. These have really been working. That's why they're making my favourites, of course. I'm not a big fan of wearing lipstick in the summer, just because I find it a bit too heavy. Um, so my usual favourite would be the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. I absolutely love the colour and the application and everything like that. But lately, just because it's quite heavy and quite matte, like drying, um, I've been kind of staying away from it. So in replacement, I got this one. This is the, what is it, Moisture Renewal Spotlight Beige um, by Maybelline I think it is, or is it Rimmel? Rimmel, by Rimmel. <laughs> I would say it's kind of the same colour of Stockholm by NYX, um, but I just got it because it moisturises as well as gives a bit of colour. And I'd also say it's a bit more glowy. It's not matte and it's a really kind of soft, almost tinted lip balm. And it moisturises your lips as the Moisture Renewal um, name suggests. And yeah, it's... Did I say it's the same colour as the Stockholm? On to clothes, and I've been digging out my summer stuff because there's been a heat wave here in the UK lately. And I came across these shorts. Let me just take them off the hanger. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that thing where I've got to squeeze them in. They're kind of like the paper bag tie at the top. They're 100% cotton, I think. No, they're not, I lied. They're 59% linen and 41% viscose, but they're really airy. And I like the colour as well. It's like a stony, beigey kind of colour. And it goes really well with black and white, my favourite colours. <laughs> um, and I just love how they feel. I actually got these when I was living in Maastricht for like two euros because they were broke at the hem. But luckily I know how to sew and I sewed them back up and they're just like... You'd never know. And they just look super cute with like cami tops, kind of flowy white tops, black tops, all kinds of tops. They're very versatile, <laughs> was what I'm trying to say. Another clothing favourite is this jumper from Brandy Melville. Now I know what you're thinking, a jumper in summer, just after you said there was a heat wave. But during the night times and kind of like the evenings, the temperature does tend to drop quite a bit. So I just picked up this kind of, it's cropped kind of Brandy Melville jumper tracksuit thing and it goes well with like most of my summer shorts because quite a lot of my summer shorts are high-waisted anyway um so wearing this on top it just adds like a little bit of extra warmth in the evenings sorry i'm getting a bit uncomfortable so it does add like a little bit of extra warmth during the evenings and things like that and because it's cropped it's quite easy to carry around as well i mean it's not like a whole jumper uh, but I've been wearing this like with my family and one of my cousins who's about five years old, for she's four or five, she always says to me, Holly, your jumper's too small for you. <laughs> and it's just so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry about the light as well. I'm, I use natural light to film and it's kind of one of those sunny but cloudy days. So if the light keeps on going from a bit brighter to a bit darker, I do apologise. And another kind of what the hell it's summer piece is this jean jacket. It is quite a thick because it is proper jean. But again, I use this for like the evenings uh, when the temperature drops or just colder days because surprise, surprise, it's not always hot in the UK. <laughs> it rains quite a bit and is quite like overcast quite a lot of the time. Uh, so this is just throw on top. It's really casual, like really easy to work with. It kind of, jean kind of goes with anything. And it's an oversized jean jacket. So it gives off that kind of 90s vibe. So that's it for clothes and onto food. If you've been watching for me a while, you may or may not know that I'm in love with food. I love eating it and I love making it. But I also suffer from a dairy intolerance. 
Um, so like things like Nutella and all the tasty chocolate stuff I've had to stay away from for quite some time until I found these. <laughs> these have just brightened up my whole life. So this is the Choc Shot by Sweet Freedom. I've got this one in chocolate and coconut and this one in just chocolate. My friend who I cannot thank enough introduced me to these and ever since then my life has changed for the better. Uh, so Choc Shot, they advertise them as kind of like a hot chocolate kind of squeezy thing. Um, but on the back they also say you can drizzle it over ice cream, porridge, fruits, milkshakes and toast. And I love drizzling them over my smoothie bowls <laughs> or porridge as well or overnight oats as well. Everything basically. But they're dairy free, they use natural ingredients, uh, so they use natural fruit extracts from apples, grapes, uh, water, cocoa, rapeseed oils and natural chocolate fragrance. So it's 100% natural and suitable for people with diabetes as well. I cannot tell you how good these taste for being dairy free and kind of not having any bad sweetness in them. On to my next food favourite, it's smoothie bowls. Uh, I just love smoothie bowls, like everything about them, the taste, how easy they are to make, how pretty they are, just everything. I wake up in the morning and they probably take me around 5 to 10 minutes to make, they're really simple. If you haven't seen my previous video on free smoothie bowls that I love to make, then go check it out. And I have a food Instagram that kind of revolves around smoothie bowls just because I'm so obsessed with them. And it's Ginger in the Kitchen, go check it out, it's much appreciated. I post yummy yummy smoothie bowls and sometimes other healthy foods that I have for lunch and things like that. I hope you enjoyed my monthly favourites. If you've got a monthly favourites video out, then I would love to check it out. Just leave the link commented down below or comment down below saying that you've got a monthly favourites and I will head on over to your channel and I will check it out because I'm always looking to find out what people are loving. It's like one of my guilty pleasures is just watching monthly favourites. <laughs> Even from like years ago, I'm just like, oh, that looks good. But thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new, please subscribe. It means a lot. I post videos weekly. And until my next one, ciao.